Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today we're building a rocket stove. Not just any typical rocket stove, we're building a variable heat rocket stove. Let's get right into the build. So for this rocket stove build, I'm gonna show you the basics of how this contraption works. We have a long tube Basically, this is our burn chamber. And then we have a feed tube like this. And there's an opening here. And usually, a lot of rocket stove, stoves have another section here underneath this tube. And this is the air inlet. And there might be a grate here. And as they feed in the wood, the air gets sucked in from here and burns. And because of that, it actually burns very hot inside this uh, chamber here. And then with the exhaust, you can heat up things like a pan or a pot or anything really, anything on top of here. Some use this rocket stove um, idea to heat up water or other things like that. The way we're going to do it on this one is I like to have an air inlet on the back. So this inlet for the wood is not shared by the inlet for the air. So I'm gonna have this other seven inch square tube cut into this uh, half in, uh, seven inch square tube. And then we're gonna have this opening here. We're gonna have a grate here that we can change I like to put some angle here, and then you can replace the grate that, um, that the wood is burning on, because eventually it does wreck this grate. And then through here, the air inlet comes in, the air comes in, burns, but it also, you could take the ashes out of here also. Now the difference with this rocket stove that we're gonna make is, I want the temperature, I wanna be able to control the temperature because if I'm frying something on top of there, I don't want it too hot. And most rocket stoves, you can't um, vary the temperature. It just runs full heat, depending on the wood you put in here. Now, if you put soft wood, hard wood, you can vary it to a certain point, but I wanna actually vary that temperature to a low sizzle or uh, to a high heat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of baffles inside here on like a little axle and we're going to be able to move this these baffles shut off this heat that's coming up this way and what we're going to do is that heat has to come out and uh, somehow or the heat or the exhaust so we're going to put some exhaust ducts here okay which is going to be the side of it kind of not in front and what's gonna happen is when we shut off our air supply or our heat, it's gonna look something like this. And the heat is gonna go out or partially through here, depending on how much we open and close that baffle. Now we're gonna put a little uh, pot grate or a grate on top so we still have that airflow here but the main reason we're building this is so we can vary the heat now not that I know of I don't think anyone's done it like this but now I'm going to show you just how I make this um, this rocket stove that has a variable heat so let's cut some material and let's get right into the build
So now I have all my pieces cut up and I sanded where I'm going to be welding. So this is the cutout for the air intake. This is going to be the part that we put on the uh, 45 degree angle tube that's going to feed our wood into. And this is both sides. I cut out a two by seven inch uh, cutout. And this is gonna be the stack for the, um, when we close these uh, valves here, so we can redirect the heat and the exhaust through these two um, exhaust ducts that we're gonna put on to this, this section here. So now I'm gonna put, I need to put the grate in here, but I'm not gonna weld it in here. I'm gonna put a, some angle inside here so the grate will actually sit on there. And over time, they, they get, um, um, they deteriorate with the heat. So I made two of them and I'm gonna put them like this opposite. And I'll, I'll be able to drop them in or take them out or break them out whenever they get ruined. And they're going to sit on a one by one angle. That's I'm going to, I'm going to put a little framework inside here now. And this can sit in. This piece was the extra from me cutting out the angle. And it's going to go on the bottom here. That I can pull out the ashes with. Uh, so it doesn't go all over the floor. And this half by eight by 16 inch piece of steel is gonna be our base plate for this uh, rocket stove. I have the one by one angle all in there now and you can see the two grates I made. I'm gonna go opposite and I'm gonna fit in there like that. So the nice part about this is we can change it. The ashes are gonna go through here, here and we can get them out very easily and we can slide them in from the top and get the new ones in here at any time. So let's start welding the rest together. So the main body is all welded up now and we're going to make our valves out of some half inch material so something that can take the heat and we're going to get some shaft material and we're going to put that inside here and we'll weld those 
baffles on here. But before we can do that, I want to weld on the plate or the, the part that's gonna hold my pot or my frying pan on top of here because I just wanna see how far I have to go with these two um, stacks that are going to redirect the heat so we can adjust that temperature. So let's put on some bent up uh, pieces here that are gonna hold my pot and then we can work on that uh, redirecting um, heat or those other chimney stacks that we have to put on either side. So for the pot grate or the pan grate, I decided to go with some um, five inch thick wall tube and some hex bar because I have a lot of it. So I have this three eighths or seven sixteenths hex bar and I TIG welded it, bend it, bent it, TIG welded it together. So now I have this nice grate that I'm gonna put somewhere around here. So I wanna space it up from the stack so we don't have the pot or whatever I'm putting on there close off the actual exhaust or the chimney where the heat's coming out of. So I'm gonna put it something like that. And then I bent up some more hex bar and I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna support it by the outside here, something like that. So I'll tack those together, line it all up and then weld it. a couple of holes I've used as you already saw and now I put some 3 8 bar through there I bent it 90 degrees on one side and you can see it inside here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my half inch by five and a half inch plates and I'm gonna put them on the inside hold them there and I'm gonna tack them and then I'm gonna try it so I'm gonna put both sides in tack them and then I can finish weld them as soon as I can tell that they work. So now I have the baffles in and you can see them. I put a little stop on the inside and you can see it shut off completely and redirect the heat to the outside holes which I'm going to make a um, chimney stack out of some 1-8 steel and I'm gonna weld that together probably gonna TIG it and then it's gonna go right in this area here and I'll MIG weld it together so let's make that and then weld it all together Thanks everyone for watching Bonifab Custom as we made the variable heat rocket stove. We thank you. Uh, Monday, I will be cooking some breakfast with this thing to see if it actually works. We'll check it with the uh, heat gun to see if we ha actually can vary the heat on it. So stay tuned. Monday at six o'clock, we'll show you the next video of this thing working. <laughs>